It's the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pesto Pod. My name is Julia Leahy. You might know me on TikTok as at more pesto, please. Today I am joined with fake doctor, fake healer, fake fake everything. Hannah, aka Chili B ASMR. Welcome to the pod. Happy to be here. <laughs> This is so exciting and so weird for me because I watch you before I go to sleep and now you're in my home. I get that a lot. <laughs> do you? I do, yeah. I have so many questions about the ASMR universe. I'll do my absolute best. Yeah. yeah. Um, first, you want to like introduce yourself and say your life and your business and your... Sure. Sure. My name is Hannah B. Yes. I am one half of the ASMR power couple if I do say so myself. No, say it. Um, Hannah and Jeremy of Chili B ASMR. I am a one week newlywed. One week? One week. Last Saturday. Shut up! I was wed. Oh my God. Did you have a big wedding? <laughs> no. Okay. But it was very nice with some close friends and family. Oh, that is so exciting. My Thank sister's you. engaged. So like we have, I'm, I have oh. a whole Pinterest wedding board poor, right now. Poor thing. Really, I am yeah. so happy to be done with it. Really? <laughs> and just enjoy the marriage. Um, and we are, yeah, we run, oh, I run the ASMR channel on YouTube, Chili B ASMR, as well as the second channel, Chill With Me, Hannah B. Yes. Where I do pretend to be various different people to relax the heck out of others yeah that is so what a what a nice calming career yeah it's <laughs> it's honestly amazing yeah, I, I won't I uh i won't sugarcoat it wait okay so i back really quick can i ask you questions about your wedding because i'm so intrigued oh absolutely yeah um i'm planning my sister's bachelorette party did mm -hmm. you have a bachelorette by any chance i didn't okay. i'm not gonna be that helpful for like more traditional okay. step A, B, C. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we Just low key, low key. We're, we're a little bit, I mean, we're not old, but we're both in our thirties and we've been together for six years. So yeah. it was more of a, let's have a party to get friends and family together. Um, we live uh, thousands of miles away from most of my family and yeah. friends. So it was sort of brewed in our mind. Um, I said to Jeremy one day, I'm like, I want to have a big party with all my friends and family. And I just like, don't know, you know, how I would like present that. And he was like, well, we're together and we're in our thirties. Like we need to just get married. <laughs> and that was the proposal. That was, the, that was the proposal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so, so we, funny. So we do, did. do you have a ring? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to do rings. Okay. Um, oh but God, we're going like to figure something out. Yeah. I, I did have a teacher in high school who had a ring tattooed. Yeah, we've talked about tattoos. Yes. Um, it's more just not my style. Okay. So Interesting. I'm too, I just will never put it on. Did you like w wear a white dress though? I did wear a white dress. Okay, um, we're sticking to some of the basics. <laughs> so I think, I think I basically did the more traditional stuff that was important to my family. Okay. Because as your sister will find out. Sure. So much of... The wedding itself is not for you. It's like really for the uh, families. Yeah. And the marriage should be for you. And it is. And we're very happy with how everything went and that we got to uh, share it with people. But we weren't even going to have a ceremony with others. And then oh, wow. some of our family was like pretty upset by that. Okay. <laughs> if you could have had everything like like your ideal situation, would you like have done the thing where you just go like to the... Um Mexico. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I was going to ask about, like, the justice of the peace. Oh, sure, in Mexico. No way. <laughs> or a boat. Can't a boat captain marry you? I'm in, pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, and honestly, in New York State especially, anyone can marry you. They I just could go online and get my ministry. Yeah. Should have yeah. asked me. I would have been there. I, <laughs> it's a huge mistake. We'll Next do time. it again. Ten, <laughs> ten year vow renewal. Oh, the vow renewal. You'll sure, be there. Sure. Did your little pup make an appearance in the wedding? Chili was there, yeah, in all of his uh, glory. We got him a little matching bow tie outfit to match Jeremy's suit. It oh. was really cute. Oh, I'm glad it was I exactly you how you <laughs> would have wanted it. Yeah, no, it Not was great. Not sticking to the... It wasn't too fancy or formal, and it wasn't um, too, like, low-key that I was disappointed. So it was okay. perfect. Nice. Did you do, like, um... I'm sorry, I have weddings on the No, brain. that's fine. Literally, this is all I did. My, I went dress shopping <laughs> with my sister. I tried the food, like, the catering. Because I'm, I'm the maid of honor. Oh, Huge oh deal. that's a big responsibility. Yeah, yeah. So I'm and super And your speech has to live up because okay, so here's of the your... thing. Well, I know. 
But here's the thing. I wrote a speech for my sister and her fiance in like 2018 because I was like, they're going to get married. I'll just have a speech ready. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that was like so long ago and they're still together. And then they finally took forever for them to get engaged. Um, and I can't find it anywhere. It's like in my phone somewhere, but I've gotten like several new phones since 2018 and mm-hmm. I can't find it. And I was so bummed because it was so good. It was before the pandemic. It was like in another era. Yeah, that's a bummer. Sounds like you should just give up probably gonna give up um <laughs> no, no i'm gonna have to like come up sit down and great. write a new you one you should also um talk talk to both of them and no sort way of hi- no you want to no, go off the i cup? want it to be hilarious okay. they can't have any inkling you don't want them to have any proofreading powers no okay i don't and they're I'm gonna not, love that i'm not uh like a sap or emotional it's gonna be hilarious it will not be like heartwarming <laughs> it will be fucking hilarious i'm I can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah, I'll Please make sure they record that. it for you. <laughs> um, I like to start the pesto pod, even though we've been rambling, um, with the pestory of the week. So this is where I describe the whack assery as of late um, in my life, in particular. Uh, and I want to know what's up. What's up with you? What whack assery is up with you? You did take the train today. I took the train today. There was. Um, I wasn't alone, though, because a cockroach rode the whole way with me. Oh, good. Yeah, it was really oh nice. God, love him. Uh, I didn't know where he went at the end. Um, I'm hoping he got off on a different stop and not, like, in my backpack. Sure. But, um, yeah, the train was fine. I yeah. used to have... Uh, I used to live in New York City. Right. And I used to have panic attacks on the train. Because I don't blame you. I hated it so much. What gets me <laughs> is the the heat. It is in the hot station down there. Yeah. And it is hot and and icky and smelly. Yeah, it's as if the station is the depths of hell and then the train itself is like limbo where you're just sort of... Sure. Transporting you to the different realms. Yeah, wherever the torture will bring. Although this was not torture to come here. This was lunch. Oh, nice. I do live... At least I live very close to the subway stop. It's not too much of a... a So yeah, the subway wasn't wasn't too bad. It was just that awkward thing where I had two bags and it was in a two-person seat. So I couldn't decide if I was just going to be a jerk and take up the whole two-person seat. So I wound up holding my bag in between my legs and then one on my chest. And then, of course, someone sat next to me, which I didn't want. So. Right. I've gotten way more... Uh, I've become a big fan of the bus. I love a New York City bus. I think it's because the driver's right there. So I know like if someone tries to like knife me, I have at least a little bit. Uh, the subway? <laughs> have you ever been in a subway car alone with like a freak? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. I'm like, no one will know when he kills me. Yeah, I mean, I was proposed to on a subway once because I had angelic angelic white skin. And I said, <laughs> I said, maybe, you know, let's just I see said, how me, let's next couple months goes. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so funny. I thought you were going to say, like, you, like, my an ex-boyfriend of mine proposed to me on the subway. And I was going to be like, whoa, let's dive into this. No, fun fact. No. I don't have an ex-boyfriend. Really? Is your first I boyfriend? I never dated anyone seriously. I went, went on a lot of dates. Sure. I was one of those like hundred first dates in New York girls. Did you use an app? Um, yeah, and I met an app. I used an app to meet Jeremy. Oh, nice. Hinge. Tinder. Tinder. Okay, Tinder. maybe I get back on Tinder. I'm on Hinge right now. I've never uh, really yeah. had. A boy- I had a high Hinge school. Hinge wasn't boyfriend. um like a thing. It wasn't as big of a platform when okay. I was dating. Okay. Like six, six plus years ago. Tinder. I've Tinder. had some Tinder encounters. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, I've had some Tinder. I mean, some it's Tinder more of a slight towards Tinder than you. But. Yeah. Um, the whack assery of my life that I was just going to talk about is I already mentioned it, but I just started Rover this week. Oh, that's just this and week. I, yeah, just this week. Oh, it just got approved. You have to like pay to get approved. It's a yeah. Whole well, that's thing. good. So that just random people aren't that's, like. I yeah, think that's I'll, a, yeah. It's I'll like watch a dogs. Bit of sure. Quality insurance. Um, but I had my first little pup. And she stayed here with me all day and I loved her and I took her on long walks. And when people were like, oh, like, can I pet your dog? I'd be like, yes, pet my dog. I love to pretend it's mine. Until they bite someone. Until it <laughs> bites like, someone's it hand off. it is not my dog. Yeah, I was like, whose dog is this? <laughs> no, she was so sweet. I loved her. Her That's name was me. Pandy. Pandy. And she was a little like chihuahua mix. Oh and my she gosh. just hung out. She just slept on my couch. And I was like, this is crazy. I'm getting paid for her to sleep on my couch. I do have a sweet spot for small chihuahuas, obviously. Do you? Is, is Chili a chihuahua? He's a chihuahua. So he's Shut half up. I chihuahua, knew he was a dachshund mix. I knew dog. it. Yeah. I love a chihuahua. He's so loud. Is he? What a bark. <laughs> that's good. He's a guard dog at heart. Yeah, that's true. I actually, I do like that. I yeah, I will right? know if someone comes in my house. Yeah. So, so did you, you have to, 
you had to fly with him here. I did. Yeah, we flew with him for the first time. For the first time? How did he do on the plane? It, he, he was really nervous, but he did really well. Did you slip him some Benadryl or something? <laughs> a little stronger, actually. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> a little puppy Xanax we got from the prescribed. Good. From the veterinarian. <laughs> Um, yeah, he was he was very nervous and unhappy, but he was a very good traveler in the oh, sense good. that the person Long behind flight. us, who's, you know, six inches behind us on a plane, was like, oh, I didn't even know there was a dog on this flight okay. until we got up. So, That's the way you want to be. Yeah, he was, he was really like quiet. That. He just sort of sat there and panted nervously for hours. That's because he was hours. <laughs> He was absolutely zooted. On yeah, the plane. yeah. Going back is longer, but we are excited to go home. Yeah. <laughs> back to his territory yes um so let's let's dive in all to right. asmr all right let me put on the voice yeah oh put on the voice oh my god i feel like i'm meeting celebrity hi julia uh shut up don't um asmr stands for autonomous sensory meridian response yeah it does look at you with your homework <laughs> um i have been watching asmr probably since like maybe high school not my whole life because uh, when you first see it, you're like, this is weird. Mm -hmm. But then the sweet, sweet re relaxation of a good chiropractor fucking cracking some bones. I can't go to sleep without it. I love it. Do you actually get the tingling sensation in your yeah, head? Yeah, not all the time, though. Yeah. It's really rare. And when I do, I save that shit immediately to my saved videos. And my saved videos are all you and Mad P. Mm -hmm. Yes. And... um. Oh, there's a dude, too, which is weird. I don't usually like the men. Is it a, a real person or someone who also does role play? Um, like, like, is it a real doctor? Yeah. No, no. Okay. He's some dude. But he does, like, he's very much only eye doctor videos. Okay. I think I know your name. I'll, I'll have yeah. to find his name. I don't know it. But I freaking love it. And I don't, I don't watch the ones where it's, I'm the, I'm the. You don't watch POV. I don't watch POV. <laughs> I don't that freaks me out yeah it's not for everyone because it is a very different experience yeah, yeah. and i'm like me, who me you're <laughs> talking to me right now it freaks me out what's your personal fave um I, also I, like do you watch it or do you get sick i do it? watch asmr oh. I, I can't watch quite i used to watch the type of asmr that i make and i still do to some extent uh it's a little harder to watch once you start making it just because I will watch like for Mad P for example and be like, Oh, I love that trigger sound. Like I'm gonna use that. And oh, so you're it's thinking of your next move. Right. So it's <laughs> like, oh, okay, I can't necessarily like fall asleep to this because it's reminding me of like all the fun things I wanna do for my job. Um but I I do still watch ASMR almost every night. Do you love night. it? Do you love doing it? Do you love oh, yeah, job? I do. Yeah, that's a crazy job you have. And yeah, I asked I, this, really I asked this off camera, but I want you to repeat it. How do you fucking tell like old grandmas what you do for a living yeah so i actually had to tell my grandmother what i did for a living like four days ago and be like, i touch people's scalps <laughs> i i just don't Gently. go into specifics okay. with with older people because they they don't really get it if i preface it like have you ever done meditation and like had someone guide you through that meditation where you start to get sleepy and calm and relaxed and they'll usually say oh yeah i did that at yoga or something sure. and Good i will say yeah that's it. sort of similar to what i do except for instead of talking directly to you i'm sort of leading someone else through a relaxing experience yeah and people like watching that because they can live vicariously um i don't really talk about like triggers like visual or audio triggers it's just too niche yeah and and honestly unless someone's really interested i don't want to like shove it down their throats because it is odd it is very odd it's very odd but i love it yeah the worst is when they ask for my channel name so they can look it up and i'm well, like well i mean i've no had, thank I've you had, like past employers <laughs> ask for mine and i okay. i talk about like fucking people on tinder i can't i can't i can't toss that shit out well that is so interesting because <laughs> you are so early in your career i didn't start social media until i had 10 years under my belt in like a more professional setting oh true so then people from work are like looking you up uh, honestly most people don't know really it's not on my linkedin i hope you <laughs> i hope you just like stumble onto their for you page um i'm i'm <laughs> sure i will i mean my therapist stumbled upon me no way so, really my yeah. therapist follows me too <laughs> yeah i don't think she follows me she was like oh it'd be like a breach of like HIPAA or whatever. Yeah. I don't I don't know what whatever sure. boundaries that are sure. important, but 
um yeah she was like i saw you on tiktok like that's great like i'm so proud of you I was like, thank you so much <laughs> thank you um where do you get the people that you well it's usually your husband right it's usually jeremy he's um really easy to get because he lives in my house sure um that's what they say sometimes my friends like tomorrow i'm filming with my friend heather who's a fan favorite she's like my best sure. bestie which probably. what does she look like i'll, I'll probably know she, what she has like dark curly hair um she's really pretty hmm. i've okay. done a bunch of exams I'll, I'll, on her I'll and her scalp <laughs> checks and things like that i've done like one reiki i know you like the reiki i do like reiki um yeah so she's reiki's, a, reiki's crazy for me because i don't i don't subscribe to like uh the teachings mm -hmm. <laughs> like i don't know if like crystal i don't know about crystal stuff are you are you like into that for real um no okay <laughs> uh I, I don't subscribe to it as a like true healing technique however the more that i fake practice it the more i realize how important it is for people to like take time to have which, moments of calm and which like, like if that's what it is then then it works to a degree yeah right i Placebo? would never i would never be like oh the, your doctor diagnosed you with like migraines like hold an amethyst you know yeah, like it's, right, right it's not Here, it's rock. not that <laughs> type of thing for me but you know before this like i never i i didn't really necessarily value like how much people need to just be like served and like pampered yeah like bit. yeah like like just just like taking the time to let yourself be vulnerable with another person who's gonna take care of you i love that i love that I just got, this just reminded me, I just got my first massage ever Ooh. over the summer, which uh, is not ASMR, but kind of. Um, a lot of massage videos are tagged ASMR. Yeah, that's yeah, true. People watch that. Um, I didn't love it. Yeah. Tell me why. I'll tell you why. Um, it was a full body massage, which I didn't love, like her up in my legs and shit, and I didn't shave. I was very self-conscious. I didn't shave my legs, my prickly oh. legs. <laughs> Um, and I was butt ass naked. Yeah. Didn't love that. And um, I don't know. I want, I guess this is on me. I didn't communicate enough, but I really wanted her to like get deeper in there and she did it. And then I left and I was like, I don't feel any different. Yes. <laughs> so I, I feel similar about massages. I don't find them to be like particularly relaxing experiences. Yeah, I, was a, I was a little stressed. Yeah. And you're thinking a lot while it's happening. And I was thinking and the whatever oil she was using plugged up my nose like my mm. sinuses and you're like face down so and I was face down so I was like, <laughs> like it was so yeah. not cute for me i think honestly like like a good asmr creator who you follow and you learn to sort of like trust and like give your your yeah, you gotta like to them one. you know yeah massage therapists are the same way i have found that she's people, super nice of course and if you went back to her multiple times and you learn to like I'm advocate sure. for yourself and like ask for what you want like maybe you'd get your perfect massage and you feel like totally comfortable but it's not for everyone sure um i personally don't love being touched that much so do you like do you like when other people do asmr on you um it really depends mostly yes but asmr is kind of different because it's not constant hands on me for like an hour straight yeah like when i i'm going to but perform still, some asmr on you i know after please i'm gonna I'm, i was gonna say at the end of the video but She's going to do, Hannah's going to do ASMR on me and I'm going to, like, you have to go watch it because I'm going to, um, what if I'm weird? What if I make noises? Like, what if I breathe loud? Well, <laughs> well then you breathe sucks. loud. Um, <laughs> the, I'm pretty good at mic isolation and oh, audio God, mixing I'm and. Uh, I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm so excited. I this honestly like think, like, after a moment, you're going to yeah. completely just forget and go, hopefully, into Zen mode. This is another thing I want to ask you. I think that ASMR, like like spas, should be a thing everywhere. Yeah. I would pay someone to do what you're going to do to me. Well, it's funny you say that because I have definitely thought about it. <laughs> um, what would be interesting is, like, what the insurance would look like on that. I know that's, like, not very, like, sexy or relaxing, but but it's such a, it's such a specific thing, and there's, there is a bit of, like, um... I don't want to say like creepy men ruin everything. They do. <laughs> they ruin most things. But like that's sort of why I, I pick people out that apply to my casting call. I usually work predominantly with women. 
Sure. Uh, also, that's just like a safety or thing. I'm, or, well, Jeremy, I feel like pretty safe around at this point. <laughs> sure. He's I very hope. empathetic, so I'm like not super worried he's going to like murder me or anything. Does he ever, is he like, can you please, like, can I be in a video I really want some ASMR right now? Um, No. Okay. But <laughs> that's also because Jeremy works a full-time job as well. So, sure. uh, like we are often filming Saturdays um, like okay. in the mornings. Uh, but he he likes a lot of the videos. Like if if I say, oh, today we're doing like a Reiki where you're laying down. He's like, oh, yeah. Like he's all oh, excited. Nice. Okay, I'm glad he's on board. Some of them are less Shatter comfortable the for, for, the, for the sitter than they look on screen. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So people like love, um, like visually, it's like a head to toe assessment. Have you seen one of those doctor's exam? Um, yes. Yeah. So that those are actually kind of taxing on a person who well, yeah, is sitting up straight for out an hour and like having like their heart listened to and like breathing in and out. Like it is nice, but it's also like a little bit of a lot for people. I actually do know what you mean. Cause I w- always wonder when people do the sharper dull, I'm like, dude, they don't want to answer right now. They're in Zen mode. And now they have to think critically. Yeah. I mean, some <laughs> people, some people love sensory testing. I just, um, collabed with another creator called names uh, Samita Coco. She's like basically the OG, one of the OG real person ASMR artists. She's amazing. Whoa. And she, I did sensory testing on her and she loved it. Really? Loved it. She was like, gave me so many tingles. Like, I can't believe no one's ever done that on me before. Um, when I've done it to other people, they're sort of like, oh, that felt funny. You know, it, it's very much ASMR like massage. You have to know what you like. And oh it's very, it's very different person to person. There's some people a, love stuff. Some people hate stuff. I I do come across some, usually not the ones I watch. Cause I watch the people doing them to other people and they're usually like doctor or medical or Reiki, whatever. But sometimes I come across them. There are some sexual undertones. Yes. Don't like those one bit. No. <laughs> it's usually some sort of someone's like naked on a chiropractor thing oh that's well that's not not, what you not an undertone oh, i wouldn't say no, that's, a, yeah, true, <laughs> true, true, true. that's an overtone um yeah so like anything else you can sexualize asmr and i do think that is part of like the problem with the concept of an asmr yeah. salon is true. that we everyone would just need to be on the same page like i would definitely pay to have um like my head scratch sure. like a scalp Who check like, i love it i love it feels so good but there obviously are people who would go in looking for something maybe different because a little happy ending which is fine i mean <laughs> i'm all for it i think that prostitution should be legalized I'll go <laughs> there. like i don't Switching see up this topic. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that um oh, true. but yeah so it's it's a cool concept i think like a pop-up might be kind of interesting yeah. because I it would be super temporary whisper lodge mm, you know yeah. whisper lodge mm-hmm. i wa- they did a buzzfeed video like five years ago and i remember it and it was it, it's it's very much not like it's all like noise yeah which i'm not super you like the physical type i like sensation. yeah i like i like watching someone get like an exam yeah i don't like when someone's like has a piece of paper and is like <sighs> in their ear and i don't fuck with when people go yeah <laughs> hate that do you ever have to do that so in asmr terminology there are things called dry sounds and wet sounds that's a wet a wet sound is going to be like a mouth sound it's going to be eating asmr honeycomb be, exactly <laughs> i do not do wet sounds no, i do don't. dry sounds she's a dry girl i do not like wet sounds no in this context <laughs> or like ever actually or i don't know why I, I don't know why i felt the need to clarify that yeah I, I i do appreciate a good dry sound and i do not whisper because i have misophonia with whispering what does that mean uh it means so it's it's actually a really common tra- trait of people who get asmr which is that as much as you're sensitive to certain sounds and they make you feel really good you're also sensitive to certain sounds that make you feel horrible sure and so, you don't like whispering? Like actual whispering is like pretty nauseating for me. Yeah, I actually now that I think about it, anyone I watch doesn't really whisper. Yeah, You're so, like soft spoken is sure. fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people will comment, "This would be great if only you were whispering." And, and it's you're just, like, "Sucks." It's not. There's so many great whisper ASMR channels. It's just not going to be me. Sure. I only make videos that I would watch. Interesting. Good. I mean, should never. That should be what everybody does, right? So you don't. You don't ever eat 
you. I hate the eating. I mean, I eat three times a day, but well, I, no, I don't capture okay, it on camera. So <laughs> oh, trust me. Good, I do a good job I, of that. I, I Like a mukbang. No. No, you're not no. a mukbang girl. No, not a mukbang. What's your uh, personal favorite, like, if, if, if the planets aligned and you could get ASMR on yourself, what is your the trigger of choice? Um, I mean, I, I do love a good, like, head exam, like, sure. scalp check. Um, I really like palpation, so when someone's, like, touching my head or my neck or my spine or love something. That. Like the this Like, Delish. remember in school when you get checked for scoliosis? Scoliosis or lice? S- scoliosis. You'd, s- like... You know, they touch your spine and you that like bend over. That never happened. To me. Oh no! Uh oh! Did school? I just have a bad nurse? <laughs> oh my god! Well, I went to I went to a really weird little church school, so maybe oh, okay. they don't I have went the technology to public there. school where they would. It, this is elementary, like really young. Yeah. Well, I remember They'll, they checked for lice and loving that. Well, that too. That was nice, except for one time I had lice, and no, that sort of ruined it for really? me. Oh my god! <laughs> when I was like, yeah, I was like six. Yeah, or that'll seven. get you, that'll that'll turn you off from that. Um. But yeah, so they would check your spine and they they'd have you like bend over and then they'd like palpate your spine like each little vertebrae as you came <gasps> up and i loved that i literally he- hearing you talking about it me oh yeah it felt so good and i was just like are you sure my spine's not curvy i ch- <laughs> try it again, again. <laughs> Gosh, i used to really like to um in elementary school if we like you're watching a movie or something and the girl behind you braids your hair mm-hmm. that's lovely it's a lovely thing or heads up seven up yeah, some puts your thumb you. down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is funny. Like, so many... So, I, I truly believe that a lot of ASMR triggers that we enjoy as adults come from childhood. Sure. You should um, write a book. Have you considered? I don't know how to read. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't it. read... A, in fact, there's a, a book that I bought that a friend of mine wrote. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to read this. And, like, I haven't touched it. No, I can't read. <laughs> Never like, learned. I read on my phone. Um no, I don't want to write a book. Okay. It sorry. seems hard, but I'd be sure. more than happy to be interviewed in a book. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have another example of as a child, like a child? Yeah. So, so for me, like a lot of the, the medical ASMR stuff, it was like when my, when I was a kid, my pediatrician had very cold hands because doctors often will wash their hands and then sure. dry them and their hands are cold. And when she would palpate my like lymph nodes, when she would do like lymph node check and check my neck and check behind, behind my ears, it was just so crazy of how <laughs> much i liked that out of body experience <laughs> and so like that definitely comes through in my in my videos and like the medical field but like asmr is all about feeling safe and relaxed and letting someone else take care of you so like i, I try that. and provide that to people i try to say hey like you can completely relax and let go i'm gonna take care of you i'm an expert like <gasps> it's so important Stop. to me to f- <laughs> to be realistic and like for people to think I'm very flattered when someone says, "Is are you a real doctor? You must really be in the medical field. And I'm like, no, I'm just a hypochondriac. And I've gone to the doctors <laughs> a lot. I just love going to the doctor. And I, and I watch a lot of these videos. I mean, True. What do they say? The Beatles, like, well, I'm not going to compare myself to the Beatles. Oh, my God. I'm the a Beatles monster. Of <laughs> the Beatles of ASMR. The Beatles of ASMR. Put it in the history books, folks. It's uh, you and Jeremy walking <laughs> across Abbey Road. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. And Chili behind us. And Chili behind, growling at a nearby well, passerby. <laughs> The, the whole thing is like 10,000 hours to become an expert at something, right? You have to do something for like 10,000 hours. Holy fuck. Never heard that. Okay. Um, it's part of, it's a book by, oh my gosh. Gandhi. No, okay. definitely <laughs> not. Uh, it will come to me. He's a pretty popular like statistics, visual statistics writer. Stephen Hawking. No. <laughs> I'll stop. You're just naming people who (laughs) might be smart enough to (laughs) write books. Um, Anyway, he wrote this book called Outliers. I don't know why I can't remember his name. But the whole concept was that anyone who did something for 10,000 hours was going to to be successful at it because you just practiced so much. Yeah. And like the Beatles played so much music when they like moved to Germany or something and played in this 24 hour club. And. I have watched so, so much, much ASMR. Yeah, right. You've you've <laughs> every absorbed single it night, all. and I absorb it and then regurgitate it out. So that's that's how I, I don't research. Like no people ask how I write my scripts. I don't write scripts. I just you spew just out it. the last fifteen years of ASMR watching. Listen to this though, and I wonder if anything similar has ever happened to you. I have fallen asleep to ASMR and woken up to discover that I have sent it to several people in my sleep. 
That has never happened okay. to me. Okay, it's horrible. It's <laughs> happened. I sent one time it was my sister, which is fine. She was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "Don't worry about it." I sent it to a girl that I went to middle school with and have not spoken to since. What and I was sent her response? a video of Mad P performing some sort of Reiki ritual. <laughs> I sent it to her, and she went, "Hey." what is this and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry i must have said that to you another time i sent asmr and it was it was not english it was in spanish so i don't even fucking know what they were saying it was just really relaxing it's mm-hmm. like a woman getting like a cleanse like a flower sure. cleanse or whatever and i sent it to sabrina carpenter the singer and you have her phone number we we are mutuals on tiktok i see so i sent her it and she did not respond I and I I can see the confusion. I mean, my guess is she probably hasn't seen it, but do you know how humiliated I was to discover that I sent a a Reiki cleanse video to Sabrina Carpenter with absolutely no context? Maybe you did her a favor. No, maybe she maybe she loves it now. (laughs) Maybe she discovered right to sleep. That this is but what works for her. So bad, I was almost gonna cry. I was like, "There goes any chance Were you, I had of hanging out so with her." So, well, I you first came to my attention when someone, several people, tagged me in a video of you talking about your real person ASMR yeah. experience yeah. and how much you liked it. When <laughs> was it that you decided or felt comfortable being like, or or did you have any fear of sharing this <laughs> obsession? I, yeah, I mean, sometimes I I say I watch ASMR and people are like, "That's fucking weird." It's it's a guilty pleasure, a little bit. Yeah. Do you think it's more popular than it used to be, though? Absolutely. TikTok did, like, some. TikTok did, yeah. TikTok really exploded it. But I watched it when it was on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I I, I said, like, I just recently started getting into it. But I think I just recently started watching it religiously. I've seen it before Mm -hmm. on YouTube. But it was still always someone doing it to someone else. I really do not like being the subject. Yeah. Except there's one girl on YouTube. Her name's ASMR Requests. And she had, like, her budget was, like, through the fucking roof. She had, like, crazy green screen and props and shit. And for some reason that, like, I was okay with that. But very rarely can I be the, the subject, which is why I'm nervous and excited. Yeah. I think it'll still feel different because I won't be staring into your eyes. Okay. <laughs> your <laughs> eyes will be closed. Oh, my God. I'm Hopefully. So Have you ever been doing it on a friend or something and they've fallen asleep? Um, not a f- friend. Jeremy. But Jeremy does fall asleep quite often. <laughs> and yeah. he's on the table or whatever. Yeah, like usually Chili's laying on him too, so he has this like little thirteen uh, pound warm weight. That is so nice. He struck gold. <laughs> I think so. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that is so funny. I guess we can we can we can wrap up the ASMR talk. I'm so glad that you came to talk about this weird little phenomenon that I love it has enveloped your life and mine. <laughs> I want the whole world to know about it. I I agree. I think it's a, it's a force for good. The, the community is like overwhelmingly positive, which is pretty rare to find I'm on the sure. internet. You know, before this, I was in a very corporate job. I've you know I've talked about the fact that I was doing what's considered to be like corporate communications. Yeah. I was writing memos and like sure. LinkedIn updates Typing. Um, <laughs> and it was really soul sucking and it felt like I was just living to make money for like the ultra wealthy ruling class. And, and now you're having fun. Now I'm having fun and getting messages from people like, I just had a baby and I haven't been able to sleep until I discovered your videos and like you've saved my life. Like obviously I don't take that. I don't, I didn't actually save your life. It's just a nice thing that they right, said. Right. Um, but, but that's so it nice. makes, feels like you're making like a positive impact on the world, which is nice because that's like not something I've had before. And I mean, I think ASMR at the core, really, it's like, it's like sleep aid. It's, it is. It's so nice to fall. Like yeah. you got to sleep. You gotta what sleep. What a lovely way to fall asleep. I have Someone. always had trouble falling asleep, so to help other people fall asleep is is so, so, so rewarding. So heartwarming. Yeah. Well, I'll ha- let you know that I will probably be watching your videos fall asleep tonight, and then maybe one day watching my own self. You will. You may like it too, because as much as maybe it'll make you cringe, I'm not sure. But I have collabed with other creators before, and I actually do like watching the videos. I can't really look at myself, but. When I listen to it, I remember the experience. Oh. And so it's like this added relaxation on top of it. <gasps> that's exciting. Yeah. I think that's, you I think you will actually right really, really like it. And it'll be more relaxing to watch probably than experience. Well, in some ways, because the per- there's there's some production to filming. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. Okay. <laughs> Hannah, thank you so much for joining me on the pod. Please go check out Hannah's all her socials i'll have them all on the on the ending screen um 
and and go look for my face on there yeah and is there anything else you want to plug upcoming um no just i'm just trucking along um nearing nearing one million on tiktok <gasps> so follow hannah quick that'll be exciting when we hit that i think yes. we're in like 970 range um they don't send you a plaque I've I learned. know. Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Where's my plaque?" It never Did came. you get your YouTube plaque? I have 600 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, okay. Go follow. I only, I only go follow Julie on YouTube. Podcast on YouTube. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thanks and for having me. What a what a relaxing episode this was. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. How and about you sign off in your ASMR voice? Oh, sure. Okay, so I think this is the end of the podcast today. Um, what I'm going to recommend is that you subscribe to both of our channels and we will see you back here in just a couple of weeks. I think that would be best. Okay. Ooh, that was awesome. <laughs> it's the pesto pod, the pesto pod, the pesto pod.